Hey, what's up guys? John here. The apartment building takeover that unfolded in Aurora, Colorado 11 days ago that shocked the world has now moved to Chicago. This single 911 phone call, this frantic phone call has over 12.5 million views. Over 17,000, now 18,000 people have retweeted this single audio recording. Listen to this. Unit M3, I'm City West, person with a gun, 6124 South Kings Drive. Caller says 32 Venezuelans are trespassing the building, showing guns in the courtyard, and they have motorcycles in the courtyard as well, all there while they're filled. Nothing. Imagine you lived in that apartment building, second floor. You hear something downstairs. It's people, new people, blocking the entry to go to and from to the first level. And then you hear the motorcycles, and then you see, you know, that they're armed. What would you be thinking? This is probably what's happening right now and going through the minds of many people inside of this apartment building. But the more that you look into what's really unfolding in this country, the more you'll realize we're walking into a world of change. As the weather gets colder and colder, you think about what's going to happen in New York City, in San Francisco, in Denver further. You look at all these other cities, people are going to be seeking shelter. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on and what I think is actually going to happen next and why I think Florida could be in for a world of change. I mean, look at this report here. This 326,000 people have just relocated to Miami. 326,000. I was just at the DMV because I wanted to see if this was actually true. There was a viral video showing thousands of thousands of people looking to get you know, IDs and driver's license uh, that were coming from South Africa. And I wanted to see if this was true. And I drove in and out of that DMV and realized, yeah, it's even more extreme than the viral clip. We're walking into something really, really, really big here. Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. YouTube will share this content. Educate more people about what's happening in America's economy. If you'd like to fix your credit, we would love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative or derogatory items in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow. Check out views on Trustpilot. Take a look at this. So in what's very fascinating here, is uh, Venezuela, they are now showing a 22-year low on basically, you know, serious crimes. 22-year low, this is according to Bloomberg, right? And, uh, and you know, they say it's because of this, right? So where are they going to? They're going to go where they're treated best, right? That's where they're going to go. And when you look at what this lady said, they're probably treated best here. Listen to this. 15000 in food stamps and $5,000 cash money a month think about that a month i was in denver about a month ago and i heard that you know a lot has changed in denver and i heard about this hotel that's essentially been rented the entire hotel has been rented and turned into housing so i went and i interviewed a family and this family is also from venezuela and i asked them tell me a little bit about how this entire situation you know works and they told me hey john you know we had a translator they said john you know, we get paid monthly, we get shelter, we get food, and then they put us essentially through college for free. And it's a six month, you know, training, like a college, you know, type of experience. And uh, they'll teach you whatever you wanna learn, whether it be construction, whether it be, um, you know, computer science, whatever you wanna do, they're gonna teach you. And they have, you know, a list of five or six different, you know, fields that you can choose from. And then after that, then they, you know, help you get on your, you know, on your feet. And they'll help cover some of the costs until you know you're eventually on your own. You know, eventually, that's what they said, right? So when you see this amount of money flowing, and then you look at where this is all gonna be going next, you'll realize where this is gonna be going for US jobs. People that come to America qualify for something called a WOTC tax credit, a work opportunity tax credit, which allows companies to write off upwards of $9,600 per year per employee. Think about that, almost $10,000 per employee. When you look at where Americans are, they're to the teeth in debt right now. Auto loan debt, credit card debt, mortgage debt. They can't, 80% of people can't afford to go through a fast food drive through right? So. When people come to America and they say, look, we don't have any of that debt. You know, in fact, we can work for less and you'll qualify 
for a $9,600 per year write-off by hiring us. What's going to happen? Big corporations are going to jump on that opportunity. A lot of businesses are going to jump on that opportunity. And so you imagine, what does this mean for construction labor? What does this mean for you know, drivers? What does this mean for all these different you know, landscaping jobs and all these different fields that are manual labor? Right? You're going to start to see a race to the bottom. I mean, when you have 40,000 apartments under construction in Miami, and you have mostly you know, a lot of men that are hardworking. They know nothing about the, you know, the easy life that America was accustomed to. They're, you know, they're conditioned for a hard, hard world. They come here, they see the opportunity. You know, they, they're going to be fighting for it, that's for sure. And when you have 40,000 apartments under construction, they're going to be looking to get into construction. They're going to be looking to get into these fields. And, uh, and uh, things are just going to ramp up. I mean, look at this. Chicago apartment building taken over by them, right? So and this came out this morning, a group of approximately 32 armed individuals identified by witnesses on social media reports as Venezuelan migrants reportedly took control of an apartment building in Chicago late last night. According to multiple reports, the group has not only trespassed, but displayed you know, tools openly in the building's courtyard accompanied by motorcycles effectively intimidating residents and potentially taking over the premises. Now, it's been reported in Aurora, Colorado that what they essentially did was they said, look, we're the landlords now. You pay us. You pay us now. And so the landlord still has to pay property tax and insurance. They have to pay all the cost of you know, being a landlord. And, uh, and they would basically just get the upside of being a landlord. right? They get all the profits, but none of the expenses. And so you have to ask yourself this big question. If we're walking into a crisis in this country, not just for new arrivals, but also for Americans, you know, people that are U.S. born citizens, what's going to happen here? We're likely to be walking into a major period of conflict as inflation likely gets worse and the economy continues to erode, the job market fades. It kind of reminds me of you know what Ray Dalio warned over two years ago to Business Insider saying that you know it's very likely America will be, will be walking into a civil war, right? Is that actually going to happen? I mean, I think it's possible. I mean, I made this prediction five months ago saying that uh, you know, that they're going to be seizing homes. That this is what's going to happen. 220,000 views talking about this. And, uh, and you know, I was a little early, probably three months early. But, uh, you know, it's already in Aurora. It's already in Chicago, allegedly, right? And so you see this, you have to ask yourself, are we going to see this happen next? Where in Brazil, Brazil, you know, they basically canceled X. They canceled it. And a lot of people get a lot of information from places like TikTok and places like uh, X and these social media platforms are, you know, being limited, right? So you could see a scenario where we don't really know what to believe. Also with AI, you don't know what to believe as well. Everything, everything has changed the last six months to a year with AI, you know, with everything from pictures to videos to recordings. You just, you don't know what's real and what's not anymore. You know, Aurora police investigate claim that this takeover apartment building and, uh, you know, they say there's no evidence, right? There's no evidence. But when you look at the videos and you look at what's happening, you know, p- many people would argue that there is evidence. But, you know, I guess we'll see. Elon Musk issued this warning saying that, you know, they're going to be coming for your properties. And this was in January, right? About eight months ago or about 10 months ago. And uh, now, now you look at it. Look at this. They say that, that we've drained $150 billion from taxpayers, according to the New York Post. New York Post said that three days ago, four days ago, five days ago, um, that $150 billion. But what's very fascinating is they say last year U.S. taxpayers shelled out $150 billion in government services to support 20 million people. For context, the entire state of California, you're looking somewhere around 39.5 million people, almost 40 million people. In Florida, it's about 20 million, 20 million people. So you're talking about the entire state of Florida, $150 billion. Do the, do the numbers here. If we see this job market changing, a race to the bottom in wages, sky high consumer debt, crime getting out of control, you're walking into the winter, walking into November, everything that's happening, I think we're walking into a big problem in this country, like a huge problem. I mean, look at the list of sanctuary states. You have uh, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Illinois, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, Vermont, and Washington, and the list of cities, you're probably looking somewhere around 200, somewhere around 200 cities throughout, uh, throughout America. 
you know, maybe more. It's a, it's a situation that's going to ramp up, I believe, dramatically over the next, call it six months. And it's a situation where I think people need to get prepared for it. Now, in America, look at this. Like, America has always been this place of opportunity. People have always come to America. And they've always, you know, they've come here with the dream to, you know, seize the American dream. Get that three-bed, two-bath house. Put their kids through college. Work hard. Contribute. You know, and a lot of people that are coming to America are coming just for that same opportunity. Just like if you were in Venezuela, you'd be looking for an opportunity to get out of Venezuela. If you were in another country, you'd probably look for another opportunity to come here, right? A lot of people are desperately looking for a better life, and America is promising that better life. And you listen to this lady saying that, yeah, you know, you're getting, you know, you're getting fifteen thousand in food stamps. You're getting five grand cash money every month and then you're getting free housing you're getting free college who would not who would not chase that opportunity if you were sitting in venezuela and you had a two or a three-year-old son or you know a 10 year old daughter and a wife and you looked at them and you said you know we can barely eat here we can barely eat but over there everything is taken care of we can get it over there what are you going to do you're going to get up you're gonna put your shoes on, you're gonna run out the front door. That's what you're gonna do. So I don't blame people for, for wanting this better life. But the big warning is, what's gonna happen here in America? As society changes, the fabric of this country changes, everything about wages are about to change. These large corporations are gonna seize this massive opportunity and it's gonna be a race to the bottom. I think we're gonna see this massive wealth transfer unfold. I think a lot of mom and pop investors are going to be in really, really, really big trouble. And I think everything's going to change. What do you think about this? Let's have a conversation below. And if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself, what I believe is going to be the greatest wealth transfer in American history, we would love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative or derogatory items in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow. And check out a piece on Trust Catch you next video.